Hey everybody, it's Caitlin here with Meraki Media Management and I'm here today with your tip of the week. So this week has all been about networking with a purpose. Um, I shared with you all that I was asked to speak at a speaking engagement, which I actually got through a networking event. Um, so obviously networking is something that's really important, but as entrepreneurs, we only have a certain amount of time that we can really allocate towards networking because it can be extremely time consuming. So every time you're going to a networking event or you're going to go online or on Instagram, which we'll talk about to network with someone, you need to have an end goal in mind. So if you have a purpose behind every single thing that you're doing, your purpose will really start to come across and people will actually engage with you more because it feels like a call to action. So I came up with this concept at my last position. I was asked to network a lot and I had no idea why I was networking, what my goal was. Um, so here at Meraki Media, I really want this company to embody having a purpose behind everything that we do. So Every time you're going to turn out content, you're going to communicate with that ideal client on Instagram, think of it as a networking. Um, you don't have to be salesy. You can simply just connect with them on a deeper level about something that you saw them post about. A lot of the time I only reach out to women that I see something on their feed and I'm like, wow, like uh, this really resonates with me. Um, I was just in Italy or I love this smoothie bowl. Like, where did you find this? How can I make this at home? Whatever it may be that they might have posted that I'm like, wow, I'm drawn to this person and I feel like I should connect with them. So even when you're on Instagram, if you can start to feel a certain type of way about someone's account or you feel like you're really connecting with them, then send them a DM or drop a message in their on their photo um, and just really try to create a conversation with them because you know you might have something a lot in common and a great way to network and build clients out that will turn into really steady followers will be those people that you connect with on a deeper level. So. Networking is a great opportunity to meet people and you can definitely utilize networking through Instagram. Another opportunity that I wanted to mention to you all, networking is a great thing to do through Facebook groups actually. I've made tons of awesome connections with women that keep me accountable or I just like to communicate with because they're like-minded to me and you know I've made a lot of new Facebook friends they're seeing my posts they might be liking my business page account um, and seeing my tips so as you go into your networking decide what you want out of it because if you're there to make an connection with someone then find those people that you'll actually create that real connection with um, that you have something seriously in common that's why i always recommend lo looking at location because if you're from the same area as someone it's very rare that they won't not connect with you. Um, you guys can see all my Eagles memorabilia from my stepdad. Um, football teams are a great way to connect with people. That might sound cheesy, but it's true. Like sports or just living in the same location is a great way to communicate with someone or start it right off the bat. So always think about your purpose before you go out and turn out content or are promoting yourself because that's when the magic happens and that's when real connections are made thanks so much guys i hope you're enjoying my tips and if they're working for you please let me know i would love some feedback thank you